It's a rare weekend edition of the blog. The family is out of the house at the grocery store so I can get some work done. Um, my anniversary is next week, so we're going to be out of town for a couple days. And I am here inking G.I. Joe. And the light coming in from the window in this video is very bright. It looks like there's an explosion. A nuclear explosion right out my window. I basically use three things when I'm inking, and it depends on how much time I have and how stressed I am. So if I have... If I'm not feeling stressed, um, for the most part, I will use the, uh, look, I've, I've worn it off, the Windsor Newton Series, uh, what is it, the Series 7, number 3. I have a couple of these, and uh, with um, Speedball ink that I put in, a little bottle cap. I bought all these, um, like I bought this, actually I bought this. Uh, candle holder to put ink in really hard to clean the glass one works but I'm so lazy I would just rather put what I need in here and then throw this away and wipe it and then go over here to my little strip of paper to get a good point and get the excess off and then uh, the good thing about this though is this will fill up large spaces of black very quickly and get nice lines you get good lines with those as I said before, my actual go-to is the Pentel Pocket Brush, which gives you a different kind of line, um, but it still goes pretty fast. I mean, I can do some pretty fast things here. Let's see if I can show you a nice... It's got that little tip on it. You can get some nice thin lines. I'm not out of ink in this one, but um, it doesn't fill up. If you're doing large spaces, it's not... It, uh, it doesn't fill up as fast, those spaces as fast as a traditional brush. And then to get uh, a lot of times, if I'm just really in a super kind of tight deadline, I'll just go with these. Uh, maybe a Micron. I tend to um, use these more, pit pen. And um, so it's just you eliminate having to dip. And um, you, you get decent lines. The only thing, the drawback is switching back and forth between sizes. sizes so. Those are pretty much the three tools that I use when inking G.I. Joe. Uh, transformers is pretty much all pens because they're transformers. Uh, occasionally I'll use uh, the Pentel pen for certain things and to fill in blacks uh, and spot the blacks and all that stuff. Um, so that's pretty much a short little um, video on this Saturday while I'm getting to work and Commission list for Heroes Con 2017, which is a month away, is open. It's filling up fast. I don't know how many slots I have left because, um, well, there's only a month left, and i got to get them done. Plus, I have some other commissions I still need to get done, and this light still looks really bright. Anyway, all right, I'm back, uh, going back to it now, so have a good Saturday and Sunday, or wherever you are, whenever you are, when you watch this.